What is up guys? It's your boy Calamity Cacus and today, oh my goodness, this has been one of the craziest weekends in Destiny history. You became more powerful than ever before if you decided to use an extremely widespread glitch that Bungie has had a very interesting response for and this response has completely divided the community into people that have loved this weekend and people that absolutely hated it. So let's go over what the heck has happened happened and what is still happening in terms of this glitch and how it's being addressed. So starting things off on Friday, uh, this glitch started to be very widespread and the glitch itself was the fact that you could craft weapons and combine different weapon properties. So as you can see right here, I essentially put the properties of this shotgun over onto this Amit auto rifle. And now when I shoot my auto rifle, every single shot is shooting a shotgun blast. So I essentially have a 30 round of the magazine fully automatic shotgun and I'm absolutely shredding with this thing. Now, I did go into more detail on how to actually accomplish this and how it works in the first video I made on that, so that's linked up above if you want to check that out, but after this point, the fully automatic shotgun ammit was only scratching the surface. It turns out people kept coming up with absolutely wild combinations. And Bungie's response again was incredibly interesting. The first thing they tweeted out was that they acknowledged that this was going on. And then they specifically said, we are not gonna ban anyone for doing this as long as they're not using something like an actual leg switch in order to accomplish this. Then again, this encouraged people to go absolutely wild. In the background gameplay, you're gonna be seeing a seven minute Grandmaster run. And while I'm still using my Abbott, I was doing some family stuff this weekend, so I was a little busy. My teammates are using grenade launchers, shotgun grenade launchers, so they combine the shotgun with a heavy grenade launcher and then found a way to get the mulligan perk on it, as you can see, so you get ammo back for each round of the shotgun blast you miss. Essentially, they have infinite ammo shotgun heavy grenade launchers. And so as you can imagine, people were coming up with these things and absolutely crushing content within the game. Now, in response to this, Bungie said on Twitter via their Bungie help account update, we're working on two fixes for this issue. There are no plans for a rollback. For the first fix, deploying within the next 24 hours, we're building a server-side update that will disable all crafted weapons from being equipped. Players will still be able to craft weapons during this time. The second fix we're building, which we hope to release soon after the first, will allow crafted weapons to be re-equipped, but the outlier crafted weapons with illegal components will be reset to a default state. So. This statement actually caused quite a controversy within the community. Now, this is mainly due to like the first thing they say in this statement, there are no plans for a rollback. Now, a rollback, for those who may not know, is essentially Bungie turning back time within the game. They would reset the servers to before this glitch became widespread. So anything you would have earned this weekend, for example, the Grandmaster rewards that you can see me farming in the background, all of that stuff, all of those Warden's Laws, all of the exotic armor I'm getting, all that would disappear from my account because Bungie again would set it back to the state my account and everyone's account uh, would be in before they started glitching. But with Bungie coming out and specifically saying we're not planning on doing this, that really gave the community the green light to go buck wild and do as much of this glitch as they could and utilize it in as much content as they could. Again, farm those seven, eight minute grandmasters with double nightfall rewards this week, the brand new Warden's Law, like people were absolutely filling up their vaults because of how powerful they were due to these absolutely insane weapon combinations. And so again, this really divided the community into two camps. The first camp is the, I just wanna have fun camp. They're saying, who cares? Don't take the game so seriously. Let's go in, let's all just have as much fun as we can for this weekend, get as much stuff as we can for this weekend, and just dominate the content and be, as someone said in my comments, uh, be lore accurate guardians <laughs> during this weekend. 
Now the other camp is the people saying, well, this is a bit unfair because, you know, a lot of people are going out and getting their solo dungeon completions done, uh, or at least they were during the weekend. And obviously, Completing an entire dungeon solo and flawless on top of that is quite the challenge and you're gonna get a very exclusive emblem when you do that. Now, after this weekend, people walking around with that emblem, it, it means a lot less because of course people are going in with infinite ammo grenade launches and it's now an absolute breeze. The same thing goes uh, for raids and raid challenges and speed runs and anything that kind of held a prestige and a challenge within the game after this weekend it's gonna hold a lot less prestige. That is the second camp. And so these people are like kind of asking for, if not a rollback, if Bungie can account for these things. Like, can you go into, you know, people's accounts and find out if they were glitching to get their solo flaws dungeons, all this stuff. So again, the community's kind of divided, right? Like, hey, let's all just go crazy and have fun. Who cares? We'll deal with the consequences later. And no, like this is still a glitch. Uh, you're abusing it in order to, complete content that you wouldn't have otherwise been able to complete and that's unfair for people who actually did do this content legit. And to be honest, you know, I can see both sides honestly, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The thing is, it's very unlikely for a rollback to actually happen now because Bungie said it wouldn't. And if they actually do take away everything people earned over the weekend after specifically saying they were not going to, players are going to be furious. Now, since then, we have had some more updates on the situation. The next thing that happened was that Bungie broke that 24 our marker. So this glitch was in the game for significantly longer than players thought with them saying update. This is a complex issue and as a result of testing, our original timeline for a server side fix has been extended. More information will be provided when we have updates. Now, this kind of sucks because if you are in the camp of people like, you know what, I'm not going to glitch this weekend. I'm just going to wait until it's fixed. I want to play Trials Legit or whatever. And you're thinking, oh, 24 hours, you know, I'll just take one day off and then it'll be fixed. Now you're kind of looking at this going, oh my goodness, I really missed out by not doing this glitch. And the people glitching it like a whole extra day for absolute shenanigans. So not the best that Bungie gave a 24 hour deadline and then missed it. Now, Again, we have another update with Bungie saying, update, in the first of multiple updates, which is going live shortly, a selection of exotic and legendary frames and perks on crafted weapons will be temporarily disabled. Crafted weapons can still be equipped. This includes Osteostriga, Revision Zero, Dead Man's Tail, Dead Messenger, Vex Caliber, and all three exotic class glaives. This will not affect any version of these that exist that were not crafted. We're currently building a second fix focusing on replacing illegitimate perks on crafted weapons. So mulligan on grenade launcher and stay tuned for updates. Now, after that, guys, uh, things went a little off the rails. As you can imagine, Bungie trying to selectively ban certain perks and intrinsic traits caused some issues. So first of all, as you can see, we had some Loganberry error codes, and then this is the entire current page of the Bungie help Twitter. It's just, okay, now there's weasel and B errors. Uh, please report these. There's more of them. Uh, like it is just a lot of error codes. Players are in experiencing quite a lot of server instability because again, Bungie is trying to do all this background stuff, trying to calm down on this uh, glitch insanity. So again, quite the weekend. Oh my goodness. Whether or not you uh, are on the, hey, let's have fun, go buck wild side of the fence or the, this was ridiculous and ruined my plans for trials side of the fence. It was crazy. Nonetheless, we can all agree on that. And you know, in a year's time, we're going to look back on this absolutely wild weekend and laugh about it. And I'm sure Bungie will introduce some sort of emblem memorializing of those who played during this time. However, we're not quite out of the woods. You know, I logged on and my shotgun amit was no longer working. It was actually just a, a street legal amit, you could say. And so I just deleted it. However, I have heard that other people have had their glitch weapons still work through this. So we'll have to see what Bungie does. And also, are they gonna go forward with their plans of actually disabling crafted weapons? It sounds like they may be pivoted from that because remember, tomorrow at reset, Master Raid and Raid Challenges launch. So imagine doing a Master Raid, guys, with 
no crafted weapons. If Bungie does disable all crafted weapons, well, some of the best weapons out there, the Forbearance, etc., are crafted weapons. So it's going to be pretty challenging to have to do tomorrow's Master Raid with such a significantly reduced arsenal. So again, we're going to have to wait and see what really happens and how Bungie implements these fixes going forward. And so that's where we're at right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative. And if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.